Hello, what's up? Ali here, and uh, we are here to show you how we can kill break or install Henkaku on our Vita using Henloa. This is so much easier compared to the previous way where we need to log in a PSN account just to install Asian Core. With Henlo, we just need to connect to a web host, download the essentials, then we just have to gather the rest of the application based on how we want to jailbreak our Vita. All of the links that we will need uh, is found on our description. To start the process, our Vita should be on the latest firmware which is a 3.74. You can check your version here on the settings, system information, and on the system software. If you are still on the lower firmware, you have uh, to update your Vita first. And to update the Vita, go back to the settings, then just click on system update. Here we will have uh, three options to update our Vita, either via Wi-Fi or by connecting to the PS3 system or with a uh, PC. But the best or easiest way is just uh, by using a Wi-Fi. So just go ahead and click this. Make sure you are connected on your Wi-Fi connection. And your Vita will automatically detect the latest version. But since I am already on the latest version, I don't have to do this. And after you have updated to the latest version, let's go to the browser. And enter this following address. Sometimes you will get an error when loading the page. Just refresh the page and it will eventually load. And once you're here, just click on the second option, Install Henkaku. Then uh, click on the third option, Download the Vita Shell. Then let your Vita download the whole application. And once downloaded, go back to the settings. Go to the Henkaku settings and enable unsafe homebrew. Then go back. By the way, if you are trying to update your PS Vita and you don't see the update settings here, that means uh, that Henkaku is already installed on your Vita. So if you just want to reinstall Henkaku and you want to update your PS Vita, you will have uh, to format or initialize your Vita first. If you want to do that, go to the format then restore this system it will restore your system settings and you will have an access to the update you will see here we no longer have the system update because we have already installed Henkaku. let us uh, go back now and enter vita shell from here we can now connect our vita to our pc or laptop for us to install all of the applications that we need to complete our Henkaku. so just connect your vita to your pc press select on your ps vita here you should be able to see all of the contents uh, in your PS Vita but if you don't see all of the folders that means that uh, they are still hidden so you will have uh, to change uh, the settings or the properties of your folder. To do that go to the view tab then uh, click on option change folder and search option then go to view and here check on the show hidden files folders and drives and also uncheck hide protected operating and system files then just click on ok then you should be able to see all of the contents of your vita now let us go ahead and download all of the stuff that we need that will complete our hentaku all of the links here are in our description let us first start with modoro modoro is our downgrader this will downgrade our Vita to a lower firmware so that we can install it. So, so just open the link and click on this part to download the file. Next, we will need the version or the firmware that we are going to use. I will definitely recommend going 3.60. So uh, just click on this part to download uh, this firmware. Or if you prefer 3.65, click on this part. Next is our end. So open the link and click on this area to download the file. But be very careful on the version that you will choose uh, because a specific version of Enso will work on a specific firmware. So if you choose uh, the version 3.60, then just go ahead uh, with the 3.60 Enso. But if you prefer 3.65, then uh, choose a 3.65 Enso. Both links can also be found on our description. Next is our Adrenaline. Uh, this will give our Vita a uh, backward compatibility with PS1 and PSP games. So you will be able to play those games from PS1 and PSP. So just click on this part to download the file. 
Next is the auto plugin. So just click on this area to download the file. Next is our PKJG or our PKGI. This will act as our Play Store. Here we can download our Vita games, PSP games, PS1 games, and some other uh, useful stuff. So just click on this area to download the file. Once we have all of this stuff ready, we can go ahead now and uh, transfer them to our Vita. And to install them, let's go back to our Vita, go to UX0, and install those files individually. Now once we have installed those files, we have to connect our Vita on our PC again. Press select, then access our PS Vita. Go to the app folder, and inside the app folder, we'll see a folder naming Modoru. Here we are going to transfer the firmware that we want to downgrade to. And in our case, we have a choose 3.60. This is our 3.60. Then let us just go ahead and uh, transfer this inside Modoru folder inside the application folder or the app folder. Now, once all of the files has been transferred, press circle to go back and here, press start and choose reboot this will restart our ps vita now after restart we can go ahead and activate our henkaku and downgrade our ps vita to activate our henkaku let us go back to the browser run the host Then choose the second option, install Henkaku. Then exit. After activating Henkaku, we cannot open any application first. We have to go straight to Modoru. If you open any application before Modoru, you will get an error after you run this application. So you have to make sure you do not open any application and just go straight to Modoru after activating your Henkaku. So from here, you will see your default factory firmware and your target firmware. Your target firmware is the firmware your Vita will be downgraded to. Well, unfortunately, I thought I have uh, choose 3.60, but I downloaded 3.65 instead. But let us go ahead and uh, downgrade to 3.65. So once you are satisfied, here you can just go ahead and press X wait for this whole verification then press X to start the downgrade now we'll just have to wait for this whole process to complete After the downgrade, you can check on the settings to see if you are on your target firmware. Then from here, we can finalize our Henkaku by installing all of the stuff that we prefer for our PS Vita. After downgrading to 3.65, we'll have to use our web host for the last time to activate our Henkaku. And since I have previously installed a wrong version of Enso, I will have to install the right version of Enso for my firmware. Now let us start with Enso. This will give our Vita a permanent jailbreak, just like a custom firmware. So just run your Enzo, press circle here, then press X to install Enzo. Then just press X to continue. This will restart your Vita. Here you will be able to verify that your PS Vita is already on permanent jailbreak. So just run any application. Let's go with the auto plugin. 
that all application will run without activating the Henkaku or using the Henlo web host. On the auto plugin, we'll have uh, to install uh, non PDRM. You will need this uh, to run some uh, basic applications on your PS Vita, including a PKGI and other format of games. So just browse non PDRM. Press X to install, then press Start to restart your Vita. After auto plug in, let's go ahead and install our adrenaline. This would install a PSP custom firmware on our Vita, enabling us to play PS1 and PSP games on our Vita. So just run adrenaline, press X, and let the Vita download and install adrenaline. After downloading the necessary file, let's go back to Adrenaline and it will complete the installation. After the installation, your Vita will boot like normal PSP. So just complete the initial setup. And your adrenaline is complete. Tap the PS button twice to go back to PS Vita Cross Media Board. That basically completes all of the necessary or basic stuff we need for our PS Vita. We can now go ahead and open PKGI. And use this to download Vita, PS1, or PSP games. Here you can go ahead and press triangle. Click on search to search for a specific PS Vita game. And to download a game, just highlight the game and uh, press OK. This will download the game that you can find uh, in PKGI. Now, if you want to look for a PS1 or PSP games, uh, press triangle again. Show PSX games uh, to look for PS1 games or to download PS1 games and PSP games to download PSP games. Both PS1 and PSP games, uh, when downloaded, you can access them uh, on your Adrenaline. But for Vita games, you can simply access them uh, on your cross-media board or in your live area. From here, what I can recommend is uh, create a bubble and place here all of the applications that you won't need on a daily basis. From here, we have uh, completely jailbroken our PS Vita with the uh, necessary or with the essentials applications uh, to enjoy your Vita. But you can still uh, add some extra stuff uh, like uh, using SD to Vita or install some emulators. So this will be it. If you have any questions or concerns, so please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.